earlier about young guys. Um, part, part of the reason we chose to play him is kind of like Drew Ott on the defensive side, Devon Smith, the receiver, going back a few years. Uh, we, we weren't sure how much benefit we'd get last year from him, and he, he made some catches and made some good plays. But but it kind of gets the growing process accelerated a little bit. Uh, what's that stuff uh, my wife puts on her flowers? You know, the, <laughs> miracle grow. Miracle grow. Yeah, it's like you know, it gives them a little uh, jump start and uh, what have you. So. Uh, the thing, just walking around the building right now and just watching Noah work out, he, he looks like a college guy now. Like, you know, a year ago he's like an eighth grade guy, you know, and I mean that in a happy way, a nice way. But it's like, you know, da -da 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 -da, walking through the park. And Whereas now I think he kind of gets the gravity of all this stuff. And, uh, but he's got a little better feel maybe how good he can be too. So that's exciting because I think he's he's pushing a little bit harder than he knew he could. And, um, yeah, so hopefully he'll be one of the guys that really emerges for us. And, uh, be great for us. Longevity-wise, right now, I mean, you you just surpassed Bob as the Bob Stoops is the uh, longest tenured coach at one school consecutively. I mean, did you ever think that was possible 19 years ago? <laughs> and then when Bob stepped down, did you ever did you kind of go, huh? You know, I'm I guess I'm the uh, old man on the group. Yeah, you know, a couple guys in the office pointed that out quickly when it happened. <laughs> but uh, you know, first and foremost, Bob's a friend, so you know, my I'm, I'm really happy for him because he's totally at peace right now mm -hmm. uh, with this whole thing. I, I did watch his press conference that night. Uh, and I just, he just seemed so so comfortable with it all. So that was great to see. Uh, he's played a lot of golf. Uh, I know that. So I think he's enjoying that part of it, and I'm sure he'll enjoy watching his kids this year, his seniors. So, but, but on the bigger picture, you know, I think college football's lost a really good guy, a really good coach, but more importantly, a really good guy. Guy, it's good for college football. So that that's a loss for all of us, but. Uh, you know, yeah, I've never really thought in those terms. It's certainly 19 years ago, mm -hmm. nobody was thinking of those terms, especially in Iowa. Uh, and then, you know, 18 years ago or 17 years ago, uh, there were a lot of people thinking on the other end. Like, you know, how quickly can we turn this thing over and get uh, get somebody else back in here? But, uh, you know, so it's all worked out well. And, uh, you know, I'm really very appreciative of that. Why do you think?